to everyone. How are you today? This is Joanna and this is Thursday and this is going to be my candle haul two because I did one in the store. I ordered 18 candles online. 10 of them have come. I haven't as of yet received any cancellation, but I also have not checked my email for two days. So I don't know if the other eight are coming first, but the two that they showed me when I wasn't sure what was happening with my order was the um, apple garland and the peace. And I was going to get peace in our store and I was going to get joy in our store. They were running low on those two. And I decided that I wanted them, but I kind of could live without them because I have the snickerdoodle one. And of course, of the 18 that I got, I went into store. Y'all heard me say already that I went in there to purchase the ones that I wanted the most. And I think that day, what did I purchase? Like maybe nine or 10, probably nine. I don't know. At this point, I done forgot. But I also got that little box. So that gives me a candle to exchange because I don't like that big one. So we're going to share with you what I got. I do know um, that out of everything that I ordered, if I get the other eight, there were six that I purchased in store that I was scared on missing out on. So any of those that are in here that are repeats with the exception of one, I will probably most likely take it back to the store for an exchange. I just got scared after I placed that order. And like you've heard me say, I was worried that I was going to miss out on some. So we're going to pull these out and see what I have in here. Now, the other odd thing I want to share here is you see how these are not in boxes. My other ones before came in boxes. These came in the crates. So... I haven't seen if other people's have come like this. Um, I don't know if I like this or not. I don't dislike it. If my candles are not broke, I don't dislike it because I do need candle crates. And maybe that's why they're doing this. Because as much as I appreciate the boxes, when I take candles back, I do utilize those. I do appreciate these crates. Because if you don't know, um, and some of you might know, but I have found that over time, these crates dry out. And that is the one thing that you can walk into the store, whether you're making a purchase or not, and you can ask for candle crates, but they do dry out over time. That means that when you go to pick them up, I'd say be careful because they could crumble. I had learned that the hard way um, when I was in my other apartment and I had all those crates up against the wall. Once I decided to date them the way that I dated them by year, I had to go get a few more because some had gotten dried out. So we did get this one. And I also purchased mahogany vanilla because I love mahogany coconut. I feel like it is a very clean scent. It smells really, really good. So I figured I would like the mahogany vanilla. So this one is one of the ones that I'm going to be keeping. Um, and y'all have already seen the notes on these, but I'll go ahead and show that. And of course, this is Pure Wonder, another one that I also picked up when I was in store. I'm not too keen on the perfume candles. I will try to pick up a candle that goes with a body care line. I am currently burning my second Hello Beautiful. Um, and I think I still have the Christmas wishes, but I had two Hello Beautifuls. So this one is one that I will not be keeping um, because one perfume candle does me nicely. I'm not even sure I'm crazy about this scent. But it is very pretty and somebody may want it. So this is one that I did not get to get in store that I wanted to get online. I do have this in that pretty bottle um, glass jar. That faceted glass jar that came out a couple of years ago. Um, so I did go ahead and get this one. I was worried that I wouldn't get this one because they did not have this in the store when I was in there. And I haven't burned either one of these yet. I've heard a lot of people say that once you light this, it smells really, really good, but I haven't burned my first one. And this one is Ocean. I did manage to get my hands on Ocean. This is a scent that my son loved. And I dropped his deodorant behind my dresser accidentally. And rather than get back there and try to get it, I'm just going to get another one. Because right now I've got like eight trays of candles in the space that I would have to move. I have that little um, Ikea thing that I put all my nail polish in and I just can't get behind there right now to even take a broomstick and push it out. So I'm just going to get him another deodorant free online when I place my next order. But he really favors this scent. Y'all have heard my story about when he was nine, they came out with Ocean and Noir and they had the little dollar bottles. Um, 
and I would let him wear that. And he's 22 now, so he still loves that scent. He gravitated towards this one because y'all heard me say, I actually love the noir on him. And the fact that he was so young that he could wear that, it didn't irritate his skin or anything. They've since changed the formula. But he gravitated towards everything in this scent here. Now we're going to get to this tray. So here we have the caramel drizzle. And I don't think I was able to find one of these in the store. Caramel drizzle was gone. Um, the red velvet cake was very low. And what was the other one? The buttered rum was very low. Um, I wanted to get this because, again, I haven't burned my other one. If y'all remember, um, the packaging, I don't know if it was 2018 or 19, but the packaging on the caramel drizzle looked just like the twinkling nights because I had made a comment. Anytime I find soap and candle packages that match or candle and body care packaging that match, but they're not of the same scent, I do go ahead and post that because one of the candles in black matched one of the soaps in black, um, but not in scent, just in decor. Um, the caramel drizzle then had that sunray splay of those stripes that was just like the um, twinkling nights, but this smells really, really nice. This, however, too, is one of those scents that it blooms when you light it, because right now it smells buttery, but it blooms when you light it. So the next one that I got that they did not have in store, not in my store, was blueberry sugar. My son favors this candle. He got into candles maybe about 2015, and y'all have heard me tell the story that it was so odd that I would buy candles from Home Interior. Um, I didn't really buy candles if we were out. Um, I bought Yankee Candle after Home Interior, which I stayed with the basic sense of buttercream, Midsummer's Night, Wedding Day. Um, but over the course of the years, I loved 2 by 4 It smelled exactly like sawwood. Go figure. And then I loved Man Town. And they got rid of those. But I would burn, um, one of the first candles I think that I burned from Bath & Body Works was Sweater Weather. And then I ended up getting into, um marshmallow fireside maybe about 2010 somewhere in there 2010 2011 i told you the story about the nurse that we had that was real mean and a resident didn't like her because she wasn't kind to me and she gave her something that we thought was too strong it was a marshmallow fireside wallflower plug and then it grew on both of us and we loved the scent and we you know thought it was funny we bonded over the fact that we loved the scent but we didn't like the attitude of the nurse that gave it to her so it was kind of a funny moment but we both had to admit that we were falling in love with marshmallow fireside so i bought that candle and lit it and those were the two candles that when i would light those if the maintenance men came in the apartment for any reason or I had company that stopped by and they had a guy with them, they wanted to know what that candle was because they wanted to buy it for their house. And so when my son told me um, at 14 that he really did like this candle, but when he would smell those two, he said they smelled like home. And I said, that's odd because I haven't really been burning any candles. Like when he was little, I didn't have a household where I burned candles per se. I was that one that when the power would go out, that's when my candles would come out. And I would only light them during that particular time. I didn't light them for ambiance, scent, or anything. I just bought them because somebody was selling them. Well, during the course of the time that I would take him with me or let him pick out candles, he fell in love with this scent. And look at this jar. It's so pretty. I didn't realize until now um how it's doing what it's doing you see that but he really does favor this scent so sorry about how long that took to tell but i got this for nostalgia purposes because i want to make sure that when i get candles i get ones that he likes because y'all know that i've said i've got something really serious going on with him um and so that's why I purchased less items, but I still purchased some. And anything that's reminiscent of anything that he loved, I go ahead and get that. This was the one that I got from the line besides the peach online. Um, I did not want the other one, the raspberry Bellini one, because I feel like raspberry scents give me a headache. That's not necessarily true. It might have just been 
the raspberry that I was burning because I'm interested in the raspberry vanilla little single wick and I might go ahead if that candle is still available just for the sake of having the love hope joy and peace all together because like I said these candles sold out basically for our holiday decorators even if they don't light the candle or they don't like what's within the candle they can still keep these containers for decoration so we have a lady at my job that likes to decorate um, for the holiday days and i'm thinking i might ask her later if she wants this jar when the candle is done um because as you can see you'd only be able to tell from the bottom the wax is out it'd be great for decor but i did go ahead and get this one this was one of the first ones that went and the joy was still there because i had mentioned that they told me they were sold out of it but they had like 10 of them on the front table when i left the store and i didn't go back um but this one is cotton candy champagne as you can see And then here is a hot buttered rum. Since I managed to get my hands on one, this is one of the ones that I will be exchanging. So right now, let me see. Right now, there are two that I will be exchanging. And I'm not going out there today. I was going to go out there today. But I go to work tomorrow. And I go to the grocery store today. And I've just been doing so much running back and forth to the Goodwill that I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to go to the grocery store. And it's late here. I should have got up this morning. It's 1224. Guys, I should have decided to do that. I'm going to go to the store. I wanted to go to Crumble Cookie, but I'm just going to go to the store. I have one package to drop off at the Goodwill. And then it's a walk up the street to the store. And then I'm coming back because tomorrow starts going back to work, guys. And I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Um, we have salted caramel eggnog. I had contemplating on keeping this one, but I'm not because I have other eggnog candles. So that's three right now that I will get to exchange. And I do have boxes for these. And then we have another red velvet cupcake and one will do me fine. So these right here right now, plus the one in that box, give me five that I can exchange right now. But I'm not doing any of this until probably Monday or Tuesday because whatever it is that I want will be there. I know they're having the body care sale, the 550 sale. There's a few things I want from that. I won't go over $40. Plus, the only reason I want to place an order is because I want to use my rewards. I have eight of them lined up and I can replace the deodorant that I lost behind the dresser. Um, But I do want to use my rewards for something that I'm worried about selling out. So I will place a body care order this weekend. If they have what it is that I'm looking for, if not, I'll just order replacements. I don't know though of the new stuff, if any is considered an online exclusive. I do want a vanilla mocha. I don't know what it's being called today. I done forgot, but y'all know that I have the original one. I do want another lotion because I was never able to get another lotion in that. Um, the Cozy Sunday Morning, I'm not fooling with because it's not the same unless the notes in it, guys, have me thinking of Marshmallow Magic and Daydream in the Sky. So if it smells just like one of those two, I will go ahead and purchase a full set because I missed out. I ended up loving the daydream cream and i have marshmallow magic cream but they might be getting old so i will get um probably definitely a full set in that if i like the starlight but i'm trying to stick with just lotions um in the vanilla one i will get just the lotion the magic in the air guys that bottle has me because i used to always i wish that they would have done the cocktails and confetti in that shade in that kind of bottle and made it um a faceted fragrance bottle because cocktails and confetti the soap smelled so good but i will go ahead and get a magic in the air mist um so i'm not after much what i want will be it'll be the 40 ish or the under 40 i don't know it'll be there somewhere but that was it so until the next time if my other eight candles come in or whatever comes in because i have a few that i'm excited about but as far as the ones like this red one um, the only one that I am expecting is the peach one. Um, and I forget what else. There was like maybe three other candles, two I know for sure, that are not here, that were not duplicates that I also did not get to get in the store. So again, that is it. 
everyone have a great day and I'm wishing you all the best holiday. You will hear from me again. Please, please enter my giveaway for the Candleberry Candles. This is my second foray with these candles. I definitely want to share them with someone. Do not put enter me though. If you see the video, all you got to do is just tell me what you would want to give someone for Christmas or what you would want to cook. So please enter. And if you have a means of sharing once you win, please share because I've said before, that's how I get my little name out there. Um, and I really want people to know about these Candleberry candles. So especially if you are someone who wins and you happen to know, because a lot of the people that are entering for this one, they love wax, they love candles. And I would love your input. I would love for you to share and good or bad, just whatever your thoughts are. So please enter that. Um, I'm going to try to mail it off or end it so that it's mailed off and you can get it like right at Christmas or a little bit before. I know that time is ticking, but that is it. Until the next time, everyone have a great day again, and I wish you all the best and please be and stay as safe as you can.